Hey guys, it's the middle of the week, which means it's time for question of the week. Now this is episode two of question of the week, and the first one did well, got over 10,000 views, which is my goal, so we're gonna do another one. And this one is a shorter question, but a very complicated subject. So the title is C-13. Now technically there is no C-13, there was just C-13, but that is, doesn't matter, it's semantics. And this is from Jesus. It says, good afternoon, Josh. In the past, you have been a great help in troubleshooting emissions problems. This time, my C-13 is building a lot of pressure in the reservoir tank, and know that you are an expert on these engines. I wanted to come to you for advice to where to start testing. Thank you in advance. I'll make sure to donate to the channel, for it is a great resource, and many of us want to keep it alive. Well, hopefully, the channel didn't know the channel was dying, but it seems to be doing okay. And yes, you can donate to the channel if you wish. I'm not requesting, but of course I appreciate it. It's adeptape at yahoo.com on PayPal. So let's answer this question the best we can. So C13, now he's saying emissions problems. There were two C13s made. There was the 04 assert version, which those had IVAs, but they didn't really have much for emissions outside of the intake valve actuators, IVAs. Then there was the 07 C13, and that one has a LEE serial number prefix, and the 04 one had a KCB serial number prefix. And they are, the base engines are very similar, but the emissions are a lot heavier on the 07. He doesn't say which one he has here, he doesn't give me the serial number, but basically his problem is not tied into emissions, at least most likely not. So what do I think is going on here? So he's saying it has a lot of pressure in the reservoir tank. Now I'm assuming he means combustion gases are getting into his reservoir. So the component responsible for keeping pressure at a set point in the cooling system is the radiator cap. Now if his is actually getting so much pressure that it's expanding out, maybe the cap's bad and it's not popping. So all radiator caps have a pressure setting on them that they're supposed to open at. But usually it's not that. Usually when they say they have a lot of pressure in the reservoir tank, it's meaning air, some sort of air or gases are getting into the cooling system. Now there's, you, you don't want any air. Basically you want nothing but coolant in the cooling system because coolant or liquids are a very good heat conductor, whereas gases or air are not. So air or gases getting into there is a big problem. And if you're getting more pressure, than normal in there, that means it's getting forced into that cooling system. Remember, your cooling system's under pressure. Depends on the cap and how good your water pump's working, but let's say 15 PSI in the block. So something has to overcome that 15 PSI to get in the block, and there's only a few places usually that that can happen. So what to look for? Well, usually when you start having this problem, you suspect that you have combustion gases getting into your cooling system. And combustion gases are really bad to get in your cooling system because usually that means you either have a cracked head or bad head gasket or something weird with a liner. But there are other ways you can be getting excess air in the system. And the first one, and one you need to isolate, is the air compressor. Now, pretty much all vehicles that have a C13, not all, but most of them, are gonna have air brakes and an air compressor. The air compressor itself can force that brake air pressure, which is, you know, 100 to 120 PSI, into the cooling system if there's a problem with the air compressor. The easiest way to isolate it is to just take off, take off the hot hose, the, the outlet, usually steel braided line that comes off of it. That will prevent the air compressor from building pressure and it will not be allowing it to force that pressure into the cooling system. Good way to test this is do a bottle test. Now, I was shown how to do a bottle test a long time ago over a decade ago by experienced mechanics. And apparently I've been doing it not correctly, at least according to John Goldsmith, who sent me an article from Cat. And his way of doing a bottle test, or at least Cat's way, is a little different than the way I've been doing it. And there's does make more sense. It's a more of a measured volume than the way I used to do it. Or the, the way I was shown is much simpler, but that doesn't mean it's better. So what you can do, the bottle test that I was always shown is, you basically just run your vent hose line, which is coming off the radiator cap neck into a bottle of water, look for bubbles. Will that tell you if air is coming out? Yes, but it doesn't give you a measured volume. So CAT has a procedure where you actually get it up to temperature, run that 
into a upside down water bottle in a bucket of water. And I haven't done this before, but I'm just going off the way it reads and then measuring it and running it at high RPM at rated temperature. If it forces all of the water out of that upside down bottle, according to the cat procedure that I read, in, in 40 seconds or less, you have a combustion gas problem. And if you have a combustion gas problem on a C13, I've never seen a bad head gasket. I've always seen a cracked cylinder. Not always, actually. I saw a liner once that had a pinhole, cavitation hole through it, but every other time, combustion gases in the cooling system has been a cracked cylinder head, unfortunately. Those heads seem to crack if they get hot for some reason, more than C15 heads. Well, C15 heads will crack, but it's usually less of a problem than on the C13s. So if it were my truck, what would I do? I would do the bottle test I illustrated there or do the simpler version just to see if it's blowing the water out of the simple version where you just put the, sorry, the dogs are barking. If you just put that vent hose line in a water bottle and it's blowing it out, you got a problem. So what you'd wanna do then is isolate the air compressor by taking the hot hose line off. If it's still doing the same volume of air, and try the one I just discussed where you put it upside down in a water bucket with a uh, water bottle. If it's still pushing that much air out with the air compressor isolated, unfortunately, you probably have a cracked cylinder head. And if you have a cracked cylinder head, you're gonna pull the cylinder head off. And at that point, you might be looking at a full rebuild unless the cylinder liners look okay. Even if the cylinder liners do look okay, those C13s only have one liner O-ring. So I would recommend at least replacing the liner O-rings while you're in there, which means pulling the oil pan pulling the cylinder packs out and probably replacing the cylinder head. So very long winded answer to a very simple question, but a, like I said, it's kind of a complicated answer to a simple question because it's a complicated subject. So hope that answers your question, Jesus. If you want to ask me a question, which I reply to all my questions, not just here on this format, but through email, adeptape at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.